Hi guys, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastic. Today what I'm doing is very simple stuff, crack repair. Notice this crack here, it's sunken in. I'll explain why in a minute. I'll show you all the way around here. Okay, great. Okay, shrunken in and we got hairlines right there. These guys are just regular stress cracks, they're common. Now this one is buckling like this. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to scrape this off and more than likely what I'm going to find here is we have a crack. Now that crack should have had some polyurethane and caulking and you wipe it in there like so and put a, a proper finish. This right here where we have it somewhat v and up, this finish is failing. So it's a wrong finish over the original stuff and I'll show you. Let's get it off of there. Okay. Yeah, they went to great lengths and put uh, fiber mesh tape. Oh, look at that crack. That's a heck of a crack. So, what we're going to do is, now that's a huge crack, and this is a stress crack. Um, the paper's intact, so we're going to fill this with Cicaflex polyurethane caulking, apply a primer over to here, a bonding agent, then we're going to put the real material in there that should last a lot longer than this stuff here. And it's only going to last as long as the prep works. So that is a mighty large crack. Uh, anyway, that's what we're doing today. So you'll see it as we get to the next stage. Okay, guys. I found the worst crack on the whole house. And in order to fix it, let me start by explaining why it happened. Okay, this chimney, probably 10 tons of brick and stucco. It's sinking. So it's sinking, and as it's sinking, it's placing an incredible structural stress on this particular point right here. So that's why we have this huge crack here. And the last fellows that fixed it, they did a pretty good job. But what they used is a fiber mesh tape. You can't really use a fiber mesh tape on a dash finish. You can use fiber mesh tape for sheetrock between the joints and cover it, or you could use fiber mesh tape on a brown coat and cover it. But on this, what tends to happen is air gets underneath. And so air got underneath and their finish basically split it. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up and I'm probably going to use a tube of this Sikaflex polyurethane caulking. And then, uh, well, very little time. Okay. We're going to put Weldcrete right over here. Weldcrete is a bonding agent. Then I'm going to put a, a rapid set stucco over this and feather it into here to here. Cosmetically, it's going to be nice. Will it recrack? Yes, it will, because when this 10-ton chimney keeps sliding down winter after winter, it's still going to put that same stress on this. The only way to really correct this properly would be to take all the stucco off and redo it. If it were my own home, I wouldn't do that. Anyhow, I'll show you when we finally get complete. I'm going to fill this up with a ton of this um, Sikaflex because the paper is intact in here. However, I want to give this a little bit of give, meaning if I just put stucco in here, when it does move, it'll just crack that stucco. I'm giving it somewhat of an expansion. That's why I'm using the Sikaflex. Okay, guys, I'm going to put some rapid set on here. And uh, the rapid set, it just dries quick. Uh, it dries much faster than the Portland cement, so that's why I'm using it. A little stronger too, but we don't really need strength here. Okay, so I'm feathering all this guy in right here. Then what I'm going to do... I'm going to take a green sponge plate. Alright, I'm going to set this guy down here. And a uh, buddy from Tucson, Arizona, Jan, said, Kirk, why do you call it green sponge floats? And what's the difference between a brown coat? Why do you call it that? And what about the red tape? Green sponge floats, just the color, become green. So we use them. Uh, as far as the red tape on the windows, you can put it on the vinyl and it won't leave a residue when you peel that off. Um, and also the brown. When we do a scratch and a brown on the house, the brown coat just means a second coat, that's all. Just a, they call it a brown coat. Uh, anyway, I was telling Jen that I would explain that because he said, I bet a lot of people have that that question. And so 
So those of you who have that question, even though this video is not about that, maybe that'll give you an answer to it. It gives me something to talk about while I'm messing around here. Anyway, this is what we're doing here. Now this texture, I'm feathering it into their dash finish. I'm feathering it in while it's wet because this is a dash, a thrown on finish. And if I hit this while it's wet, it's going to appear very heavy, just like this. If I let it dry, then it smooths it out a lot, and we lose all the sand or aggregate. So there you have it, just like that. And I'm going to spend a couple more seconds here and make it just pretty. The camera is probably showing it pretty right now, but it's it's uh, not there yet. Anyway, that's that's how I would do it if it was my own house. I'm sure there's. 100 people have 100 different opinions of how to do this. My name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Thank you folks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.